Hey there, I'm Christy Bilbrey. I'm a marketing strategist and brand story coach. I decided to start January by giving you what I consider to be the top three areas that you have to prioritize for a successful year in your business. Last week I talked about mindset. So if you missed it, make sure to go back and watch that video. Today I'm covering the second piece, which is making small steps of progress in areas that may be new and scary for you. When it comes to marketing, it's all about throwing yourself out there in a variety of ways. As business owners, we are the best spokespeople for our brands. Make this year the year that you become fearlessly visible with your business. It's pretty rare that we can radically change our lives or our businesses overnight. Sometimes it does happen. When my husband decided to join the military right after high school, his life did change the moment that he stepped foot into basic training. And I've actually got a picture of him for you that was taken a year later when he was in Kuwait. But for most of us who are small business owners, we are gonna end up just making a series of changes over time that help us keep up with marketing, advertising, technology, and a variety of techniques to grow our businesses. Okay, so we get that part is important, but let's be honest, it's the figuring it out and implementation of it that can be nerve wracking, frustrating, and time consuming. So what's the best approach to do something and make it stick? Initially, it comes from taking small steps. Here's why. We're all busy, we're all bombarded by info, and we probably have enough on our plates just taking care of clients, kids, maybe another full-time job. But if you want to start or grow your business, have to carve out time to make that happen. Here's what I recommend. First, I want you to make some goals. See what others are doing that's working right now and figure out what's gonna make the most sense for you. Second is research. Find out what's involved to make it happen. Whether it's big or small, there may be pieces that you're unaware of. So hop on over to Google or reach out to people who are already doing it and figure out how to break it down into a series of steps. Next, carve out 30 minutes on your calendar and start working on step one of whatever it is that you want to do. Maybe it's starting to use Facebook Live, Facebook ads, blogging, speaking, creating a product, or packaging your services. We'll get into this more next time when I talk about promotion. But whatever it is that you decide to do, just start. Even if you're thinking, but Christy, I don't know how to do step two or three, that's okay. You're only on step one and you'll figure it out as you go along. That's what I've had to do. That's what all business owners have to do. If it's not something that you're gonna hire somebody else to take care of, then you have to figure it out and get it done. Keeping it on your wish list isn't gonna move your business forward. I know what it's like to live in fear that what I offer or the way that I present it is gonna turn off my audience. I know what it's like to feel completely overwhelmed with something that I see others doing and I think, I'm not really sure if I am up to that. But you know what, why not start and give it your best instead of immediately writing it off? In the end, wouldn't you rather look back knowing that you did give it your all? While you may end up spending larger amounts of time on certain projects down the road, I don't recommend starting out that way. Don't schedule a weekend or eight hours where you plan to tackle something in its entirety that's new and scary. I'm telling you, start small. You're gonna avoid burnout this way. The best way to start something new and something that's intimidating is to teach yourself that it's not as scary and out of reach as you think it is. By doing the research and learning how to break it down into small pieces, you're going to begin to grow your confidence and your mindset that this is within your reach. So schedule something that's manageable and lock it into your calendar. This doesn't have to be big, like 20 to 40 minute blocks on your calendar two to three times a week. After you do this for a week or two, I bet you're going to start to gain confidence that you're discovering more about whatever it is that seems new and big and scary. And you're learning that you can break it down into small pieces and that it is attainable. Even if you don't know how to do everything yet, you can focus on just learning the next piece. 
Toyota used this approach to grow and improve quality after World War II with the help of American professor W. Edwards Deming. It's hard to say fast. His chief philosophy was finding and implementing small ways to have continuous improvement in quality, which in Japanese is called Kaizen. Toyota wanted to compete globally, and it didn't have the kind of capital to invest that America did. So Deming suggested that they make improvements with their current equipment, and they do it continuously. This was pretty radical at the time. Instead of encouraging large changes, they made a series of small improvements. You might do this daily in your business or weekly. With this approach, Toyota was able to grow to be able to take on Motor City. Obviously, we all know how that worked out. Even though your business may be small now, just get out of that mindset and look for ways to make 1% improvements continuously. You will be shocked by what that adds up to over the course of six months or a year. Some people will tell you the complete opposite of taking this baby step approach. They will tell you that you should do everything in short sprints where your sole focus is one project at a time and that you'll accomplish more in the next 90 days and year if you structure your business this way. Theoretically, yes, they're right. However, if you have small children at home who consume part of your day, if you have another full-time job and you're looking for time to start squeezing in a new business on the side, or you have clients that you need to serve with part of your time, or just maybe this whole business idea is totally new to you and you're a little shaky when it comes to confidence in moving forward, or at least moving forward in some new facet of marketing or some part of it. Well then to me, the approach of making it the sole focus is like trying to climb Mount Everest with no training. Nobody recommends that. It can give you a sense of hopelessness that you're going to try and work really, really hard, really quickly and end up with nothing to show. My aim is to provide hope and encouragement, a realistic plan and teachings that will get you where you want to be regardless of how much time you have available. Now, if you don't have any of the obligations that I previously mentioned and you are confident and just raring to go, then by all means, move forward and focus all of your time and efforts on that project. For others, once you've dipped your toe in the water and you realize that you're okay, then it's fine to begin dedicating more and more time to a new business project or marketing strategy. But it's okay and typically better if you start small. So my challenge to you today is to identify one new way to enhance or expand your business um, to increase your visibility and bring in more sales this year. Then I want you to start the process of researching what that's going to take to accomplish. Determine the first 1% change that you are going to make. That's it. Just start there. If this video gave you encouragement or an aha moment that you needed right now, I would love to hear about it. So you can send me an email to hello at christybilbury.com or you can add a comment below. I hope this is the start to an incredible 2017 for you. And if you haven't already done so, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking the red button in the bottom right hand corner of this video. Give it a thumbs up and share it with other business owners. To learn more about me, how I work with clients, or to read other blogs, you can visit me at christybilbury.com. As always, I wish you great success. See you next time.